My name is Mariana Barbosa and I'm a fifth grade teacher here at Butler Elementary School in the Isaac School District. I would say I have from about first grade level, like reading level, to um, just below fifth grade level. We are a fifth grade class, but when it comes to comprehension, these kids are a bit behind. So we're working on it. So a lot of some of the strategies that we use in here that um, I really like about National Geographic is, for example, the vocabulary. A lot of the new vocabulary that is introduced, you have the word in big bold letters. You have how the kids can sound it out in the picture. I love that there are pictures that go with each new word that they learn because a lot of the times these kids they can't see it in their heads which goes with the comprehension of what they're reading so to have a picture in front of them with the word and the definition attached is amazing for these kids so like the word oppose they have an image that they can recall when they see that word again and they can say oh to protest or to go against what somebody thinks so that to them is a huge help is having those pictures mm -hmm. uh, and some of the other and then when there aren't any pictures we do write them in our notebooks and they do come up with their own pictures so it kind of keeps that that strategy going that National Geographic provides us with the majority of the vocabulary words one of my favorites is the weekly text there's always, the, every story that we've come across, uh, the kids have enjoyed. The previous unit that we did on animals, every text, it was all informational and they loved it. Learning about new animals and the ocean and habitats and all of these things interested them to the point where they were learning without even knowing that they were learning. And that's one thing that I really appreciate about the, the stories that they provide through Nat Geo is they interest your kids to the point where they forget that they're learning and they start having fun. My teaching has definitely changed because before I used to have to plan my own lessons. And though I like that because I was able to work with specifically what my kids knew and I got to bring in my own stories, since implementing this curriculum, I do spend less time planning, not in a bad way, not in like, oh, it's already done for me, I'm not even going to look at it, but it does give me time to say, okay, let me sit here, and I have my notebook with me, and I'm like, okay, this is what we're going to do, and I, I try to, it helps me, okay, here's the vocabulary, this is the, the, routine that we want to do or this is the routine that they like or this is the routine that helps them okay and then the vocabulary with the pictures and the stories I don't have to spend hours looking for the perfect text because it's already there for me and they love the stories I love the stories they're amazing beautifully written the the online version of the book allows you some for some of the text not all of them but they have a feature where you can listen to the story and the kids read along with it so they're not only listening to a beautifully read and written story they're reading it along with the reader and their comprehension is amazing like we saw today they I asked them do you want to read this again I gave them the choice and they're like no I got it I'm good and they were they were good they